What's up guys? Uh, so today uh, we're at the house kind of cleaning up, finishing up us uh, a little odds and ends uh, because, well, winter's coming and it's getting cold and there's some stuff I can't leave out here and a lot of my mind and everything just keeps on going. So, so that's what we're up to today. So one of my weekend projects that didn't uh, didn't pan out so easy was I was gonna put new tires on the van. And what what seems like a fairly simple thing, for some reason simple things just haven't panned out for me very well. Check this out. So I got new tires for the van. These are getting a little thin. They're not, this one isn't particularly too bad. It was the other side that was really bad. Um, <clears throat> but I brought it to my friends and we were gonna put a new tire on and uh, we couldn't get the very last lug nut out. We tried and we tried and <clears throat> we beat on it. We heated it up a little bit. We did all sorts of stuff. But uh, So now I'm back here. I'm supposed to get the, the van aligned, the tires aligned today. And so I called him up and said, here's, uh, here's what I need, here's what I can't figure out, and uh, can you help me? Basically I was like, all I really need you to do is get the tire off and make it so that I can put the tire, take the tire off and on again. I just can't get that. So they gave me a couple hints of how to do it, and basically he was like, bash it with a big hammer because the nut is fused to the aluminum rim because they're different types of metal um, so i did that but then i also didn't have the right tools because i wasn't at my buddy's shop to actually take it off um, so it was kind of pointless um, anyway so hopefully they'll get it off for me and i can get that figured out but yeah just another weird one of those little things that uh, didn't uh, <laughs> that felt simple but didn't go very well also, I noticed I'm not the only one out working today. It's November 14th currently, and so I'm glad I'm not part of that project right there. So while I'm here, before winter sets in too much, I get a little bit of my breath back. I'm gonna pick up some of this, some of this wood that I haven't yet. Uh, I think a while ago, I had mentioned a bee's nest, a ground's nest. Um, that I found that my wife actually got stung with in the leg or the, oh, that, the day that we were cleaning up here or, no I got stung in the leg she didn't which was the good thing because she's allergic to anyway I haven't dealt with anything here since again it's 30 degrees I'm not too worried about the wasps I never actually I bought the stuff and never actually came back and, and dealt with it um, I just, so I'm hoping to be able to pick this stuff up without having to worry about that nest that hive coming to life, I don't think. I'm not too worried about it. But we'll see. So all this wood was from the uh, the ladder for the uh, for the tin that I put up for the roof. So it's been here a while. Hoping I'll be able to save most of it, well, big pieces anyway. It's nice wood. It's expensive wood.
So I've decided to deal with the bees. Uh, I'm hoping they're all dead. I'm hoping it's a little cold for them. I've got a can of spray. Got to find the nest though. Somewhere in this area. Take a good better shot. So if I start bolting, screaming, or crying for some reason, it's because I found the nest. nothing. I don't know how much farther I want to get into it. Can't be that far off. Well, Maybe I won't have to, maybe I won't have to deal with them after all. Hopefully they're, I don't know where they are. I just don't want to have to deal with them in the spring. But that might just be where we're at. I don't, have to, don't want to have to worry about it. This is the, this was a big one. That day I got stung, there were, there were a lot of them that came out. And it only got bigger. So now I don't know. Should be able to find it. It must be deep. It must be deeper than where I'm going, than just the skim coat off. I just don't want to dig up my whole yard. But I also don't want to lay dormant. And then it'll already be huge by spring. And when it comes, I have to deal with it then. Maybe something already killed it. Doubtful. Maybe they left. Doubtful they'd still leave their nest behind. I think I found the opening. Basically, right underneath my piece of wood, right there. I think, I think that's it, right? Starting to feel like a crazy person now. Uh, I guess that wasn't it. Just swore it was a huge hole.
Which I assumed was the opening. All right, all right, I'm calling it. Wasted enough time on that. I was like, I'll do this so I can catch my breath and not have to expend much energy. And I just dug, I just dug a giant hole in my yard for, well, for a reason, but not, for, I didn't accomplish anything other than that there's still somewhere in the backyard where I walk a lot, a ground's nest that will, I suspect, re reappear next spring. So, have that in the back of my mind. That's all. It's really hard to turn off a camera with gloves. <clears throat> So, just so you know, this was the other nest that I'd found that I had killed with more of my tire than anything else. Because I ran over it. It was a big hole. And it wasn't quite that big. The hole was actually, the hole was somewhere over in here, I think, maybe, or over here. Um, maybe that was it. I don't fully know. Uh, but that's where it was originally. And then, uh, so this spot I actually can uh, get to with my car, there's enough room. And so I drove right up on it and uh, I guess I crushed it and killed it and didn't have to worry about it. So that's that's what I've been looking for. I, uh, some sort of hole, some sort of impressure in the ground from, from the nest being, well, from the nest being crushed. But I haven't seen it over there. So this is the upstairs right now. Sorry, there's not really much light going on. There's no light in here except what's coming in through the couple windows. You can see it's kind of become my wood storage barn loft thing. Uh, the stairs are over there. A bunch of the wood that I've used or have taken out and are planning on reusing. Uh, so some of the floor from downstairs that we ripped up uh, is up here. Uh, some of the walls that were taken apart is up here on the ground some here that still needs to be dealt with uh, i've got some wood that was outside that i want to bring in so that it hopefully dry out we'll see how that works can't see it but over here i've got the plywood stacked up i got up against the wall um some sheets of sheet rock uh, a couple windows that i was hoping to put in before winter but won't get to it's reality um i've got some tools i've got some other tools i've got this railing thing here so really, if I don't know what I'm doing with something and it doesn't fit or I didn't have the trailer at the time, I just threw it up here. And so now it's got to get reorganized a little bit because there's a lot of junk. Let me show you, let me show you around a little real quick. Cause it's so great. This is my wood pile. My one buys, my two by fours, my two by sixes, my odds and ends, my short stuff, my stairs, which I'm hoping to move, uh, my chop saw, which I'm hoping to move. Well, it's fine there, but I don't want to leave it there. 
my vertically stacked wood that's uh, these are two by fours or other pieces of wood that has screws or nails in it uh, that I still have to take out at some point I just didn't want it mixed in with the other wood because that wood I can just grab and go and my windows I only have two of them right now which is fine I wanted to see how they fit and if I liked them and if I don't I'd change it up a couple pieces of sheetrock uh, that's all stacked plywood and then there's some tin so in a bathtub. So that's where we're at. Well, we got the van back and they got it aligned and they got the nut off. <clears throat> that was the nut. What was left of it? If you guys can see it too well. So that's what I was fighting. Thankfully, apparently they got it off. It sounded fairly easy. It wouldn't tell me a secret. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a secret, I guess. But uh, hey. It works, I'll take it. So we didn't didn't end up getting uh all too far. Got some cleaning up to do here. Um that's alright. <clears throat> um really we're just here while the car was getting in alignment because it's just a ten mile ten minute walk down the road. So, so we were only here for a couple hours. Gotta get home, get something to eat, get the kids to bed, wake up. New day tomorrow. So, so again, a huge shout out uh, to Ryan and the boys for helping me with all this. Um, I got a little bit more in here and a little bit more in here. Uh, I've actually got, still got to scrape some of that back so I can close the door, put the door back on and then close it before I leave. Um, but uh, again, little by little, uh, at this rate, I don't think I'm going to get the concrete floor in before winter actually begins. Um, so we'll get the Pour a concrete floor in the middle of winter, probably. That's just uh, the new expectation. Change your expectations as they go and just roll with it. So thanks uh, for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you did. Um, if you want to see more of these, uh, if you're new, uh, there will be a, a link uh, to the playlist so that you can see kind of not just where I'm at, uh, but uh, where, I've, where, where I've been. Because uh, so far it's been quite a journey. Uh, thanks again for watching.